I think when you've been when you've lived an extraordinarily long life of 99 years just in fact two short months away from your 100th birthday you can hardly be accused of making a bolt for the door can you as is the case of Prince Philip's passing on Friday His Royal Highness the Duke of Edinburgh it's amazing that the royal family, which is probably our most traditional institution in the world, the most traditional institution in the world that we have thankfully still got in this country, has been forced to evolve itself, especially in the last 30 or 40 years with the advent of um, the internet, the rise of the internet, the meteoric rise of social media, um, the royal family, um, obviously tr tradition clashes greatly with all of this process and it's been responsible for um, bringing the royal family with it. And Prince Philip was probably one of the most forward-thinking people in the royal family. In fact, I believe it was him, it was he who even had the idea of televising the Queen's coronation all those years ago. So yeah, incredible. I mean, he was not only, um, he was not only, you know, the royal family is now not only mourning the loss of a husband and a father, but also of a grandfather and a great-grandfather, let's not forget now. And that's going to have a big bearing. The royal family is a family in mourning at the end of the day. And you may have seen it coming, but as one of them said um, on the news recently, it still doesn't make it any easier when it actually arrives, when the day arrives. Obviously, when you're 99, people are expecting it to happen at some point, but it doesn't help. It does not help. Let's hope the Queen, who's 95 herself, can cope admirably with the removal of her right-hand man, her rock, um, she was married to him for over 70 years. That's an incredibly long time for any couple. Any couple. So, you know, let's just see how it goes. But life goes on, doesn't it? Life goes on. And when we published our video on Friday, we pressed the upload button or the publish button at exactly the same moment that the news started coming through about Prince Philip's passing and so the video has been rendered a little bit obsolete which is a shame really because there's a lot said in that so all we're going to do today is repeat much of that video for you today and hopefully you can carry on but the big thing to take from it probably is that the survey that we've launched last week the survey we launched would have run out last night at midnight Sunday but we're going to keep it going till tomorrow night, midnight Tuesday, um, just to make up for things. So just know that now. We'll put the signs up on the video as we go. But And we won't talk about anything else in the video. We'll just let it do its own talking. And that's it for now. So stay safe. Stay well. R.I.P. Prince Philip. His Royal Highness, the Duke of Edinburgh. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye for now. In line with what the government's thinking, whether you agree with passports, you're prepared to do passports, whether you think your members will come back and rehearse in June when all social distancing will hopefully disappear, whether you think the audiences will come back and so on and so forth and all that kind of stuff. So it's all about it's all about um, reopening, basically. So, and it finishes midnight on Sunday. So this Sunday coming, midnight, that's the end of the survey. We'll bring you the results next week. So this is a last plea to please... There's a link below this survey if you're watching this on YouTube. Or we'll re-put the link out there, repost it. It's all over the place anyway. So hopefully you won't find a problem. And if you do the survey, anyone that does it gets a free six-month digital subscription to Sardines. No questions asked. 
um, it's free. It, the survey is anonymous, by the way. We do need your name and email address because of the six month subscription. We have to do that. Um, but that's just, we're not going to do anything with it. Okay, I'm, I'm on video confirming that now to you. We are not going to sell, hire out, share your details, your, your contact details with anyone obviously GDPR and all that without your permission it would be illegal anyway so that's no problem we're not going to do any of that stuff it's just for the subscription but we do need it okay that's that um, we'll leave that with you for now what I thought I'd do if you want to is um, just go through I'll give you a little preview into how things are going so far um, let's just very quickly have a little look okay here we go so by the way who knew that um, speaking of age groups this is over half the people who are active in amateur theatre and are responding to the survey so far over half are more than 65 years old isn't that amazing and nearly three quarters are over 55 years old I'm 55 wow need more young people involved guys come on we need to get those young people initiatives and i think that's for a future date we were to do let's read out something else that you might like to know about do you believe the public's perception of the uk's roadmap to recovery and thus our theatres reopening is hindered or confused by each devolved region of the uk which is england scotland wales and northern ireland of course um they all have their own independent set of rules to follow and n virtually 60% of people say, yep, absolutely. I do know how the whole devolved situation is set up and works, but it's really difficult to keep up with the who, what and where of um, each region. And of course it is. We all tend to follow Boris Johnson's televised um, things from Downing Street, but that's only for England, let's um, remember. England... Wales, uh, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland have got their own independent set of rules. They're all going to follow roughly the same path, we hope. Oh my goodness, I do hope so. But the timings are going to be different and um, anything we announce specifically from England is going to be just for England. So that's interesting, isn't it? Right, the second thing I want to talk about is um, an initiative we're going to do on our social media pages on Facebook and Twitter. We go every single day from now on. So today is the first day we're going to publish um, a show, an amateur show, because everyone's announcing their reopening of shows at the moment. So um, musicals galore all over the place. The professional industry is full of it, but we want to try and concentrate on amateur, non-professional, grassroots, whatever you want to call it, stuff at the moment. So we're going to be announcing and posting one details of one amateur non-professional production that's that we've been told about um and we'll um we'll do what we can we'll share it and um get some people along to buy tickets hopefully so what you need to do if you can is let us know what you're doing if you email us at um um news at sardinesmagazine.co.uk here's the email address right here um news at sardinesmagazine.co.uk or send us a message via Twitter or Facebook or below this YouTube video of what you're up to and we'll, we'll do what we can. We'll, um, we'll see if we can include you in our one per day. So that's it. That's, what, that's the second initiative I needed to talk to you about. The third one, which one of our people has just um, um, drawn our attention to, is that Michael Frayne, of course, the writer of Noise is Off, where sardines got its name from is going to be in conversation and it's a live stream that's on wednesday the 21st of april from 8 till 9 15 and it just costs 10 quid and he's bound to talk about noises off and how he came up with the idea of noises off he's bound to in an hour and a quarter i don't think you can talk to michael crane without doing that um so so uh, we'll put the details of that as well below this youtube video and see if you can get along to that. That would be really, really interesting, won't it? But that's it for now. Um, we've obviously got a new issue out. Did I mention that um, if you do the survey, I did, didn't I? You'll get a free six-month digital subscription. 
everyone that does our survey gets a free six month digital subscription given to them no questions asked and if you're already a digital subscriber to sardines you get a six month digital subscription extended onto your current subscription so that's good isn't it excellent excellent so um, wonderful 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 um, so keep going guys have a lovely weekend and we'll see you Monday with another video and w don't forget to send us those details of what shows you're planning and going to be putting on it doesn't have to be a musical it can be a drama play tragedy history play anything like that doesn't it could be a pantomime a musical um, and we'll randomly pick one per day to publicize on our social media pages okay that's it for now so stay safe stay well we will be back See you later.